Hello my GC co-creators, Lilu here. I'm today on Kauai in beautiful, in one of the most beautiful islands of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Here with Phil today. Hello. Aloha. Aloha. Does that mean love? That means... Actually, aloha is the true meaning behind aloha. There, it's two words. Aloha. Ha is your breath. Aloha is to face, to confront, to be in the presence of. Aloha. Beautiful. Well, I'm very excited to have this conversation with you because as I was going around town and all those beautiful towns, you know, that are on Kauai, I went to Papayas and then I saw your beautiful school next to Papayas, which is Children of the Land, and you founded that. Mm -hmm. tell, tell, tell us what you do there with kids because you got quite a mission, quite a vision there. Well, it's, the inspiration came from the island of Kauai. I got the chance to live out there for two years. And to know what ancestrals have done years and years ago, um, it inspired me to open up this center to share to the people f that comes to Kauai. And uh, we have such a huge program that is um, different practitioners that comes in based on the Polynesian, uh, fire dancing, drumming, Tahitian language, making of ropes, hunting. So we have a widespread of practitioners that is supporting the children of the land mm. what and is your vision with that with the school the vision has been and still is to preserve the Polynesian arts you know our mission has been met in to support uh, the art there's a lot of different artists here on the island mm -hmm. that is just upkeeping um, the Polynesian world to have a center and to see them come out and help grow this plant you know because none of it is mine it's just um i'm just one of the servants or one of the practitioners that serve that you know that art and i'm just honored that how i got to learn it was tr through kawaii and spending the time out there knowing how sustainable kawaii is and so from farming yeah. from uh just from growing things from the land you know that's actually first and foremost what Kauai gives us so just to give the kids back then to have them put seeds in the ground of course the coconut goes in but just to give back because you know a lot of times we take and take me and you know I was guilty at one time <laughs> where I just took where I didn't realize how much we need to put back in so I'm honored to be in that space to serve that. What have you been witnessing since you did that paradigm sh shift, since you have been at service selflessly? What have you, what have you seen and what are some of the experiences that came out of that and that are still coming? Well, first and foremost, it became, um, it's so much more clear to know that what I'm on to serve it just becomes um, it becomes music you know just my part in in just to support the building I don't know how many practitioners are out there but I know the true aloha runs through a lot of people's veins through Kauai you know whether they're Polynesians or not they have served a space on sustainability on the art and it's such a beautiful because of it's hard to say it because there's a lot of it it's not about words it's about the beauty <laughs> you know and how that runs through us and oh, wow I can do this or I can you know so I sometimes get stuck with words <laughs> yeah yeah but I see but how, when you're at service and that must have created you must have found the support too and, and, and the people and everything has come probably in a very magical way for you because it's, it's quite it is a big school it is a big you know project and a lot of people out are scared to go for that dream or scared to put things in place you have put those in place so you have a lot of wisdom to share or even maybe some advice well i owe it to my family i have such an enormous family here on Kauai. Mm -hmm. um, 
and just to come from a big community yeah. it's such a comfortable space to have any anybody that walks on Kauai to help support the sustainable side of it so as long as I can maintain what Kauai has been for years I found I don't need to search anymore mm -hmm. as long as I'm building it people will bring materials to help build this so there's a lot of protocols that we go through but just to stay centered and just do what we need to do and just take the wants out as I think a lot of people go through a lot of wants mm -hmm. you know but I've learned and decided or figured out what is a want versus a need mm -hmm. so I'm just basically staying with the Polynesian arts on what they need what we need you know that makes a made a huge difference for me what is the so what is the Polynesian uh, philosophy what is at the core of your culture because Polynesia came, no, you came to Hawaii. Basically, Hawaiians are Polynesian, or what is the story there? Well, there's different stories, but I truly believe it's kind of like the chicken and egg theory. I truly believe that, uh, and I've heard and I've met a lot of people from South Pacific. They believe they come from Hawaii. We believe we come from the stars, you know, and how plants, how we stay connected to the land. And that's truly what Polynesians have sustained themselves on, was the land, not another person, but as a community on how, how to sustain ourselves. So I honor and thank and ask for, especially Kauai, how to give back to, to her. How is your communication with her? It's just through acting through. We can sit here and pray for it versus go and present it, leave energy out there especially our you know instruments um, if it's not there how would we know about it you know we can pray on it of course a lot of things come through but to create and be part of what Kauai has been I'm only on the wheel of Polynesia <laughs> so whatever has happened years ago I'm just maintaining what that has been mm. tonight you're gonna drum with the kids here why why are you doing that once a month <clears throat> we come down and play to Kauai just to the sunset just of, for what she has given us um, what she has given a lot of visitors that beauty the pictures that they go home with and how beautiful Kauai is part of that beauty comes from what we give back to Kauai you know she's beautiful in itself we don't she doesn't need really our help because it has been maintained like this for years but just to be a servant to her I'm like in awe <laughs> so I love it that we're doing that for the kids for our visitors mm -hmm. mainly for ourselves yeah. so mm -hmm. and if we don't feel good I don't think we can share that so to take away our um, however I don't know what an ego you know like I have been through a lot of conversations about an ego holding an ego our ego flies so we don't never hold that so beautiful beautiful did you see that you have a, an instrument here it's um it's a nose flute this has been the highest healer that I've learned in the Polynesian world mm -hmm. because of breath mm. and the reason it's a nose flute and the reason why we use our nose is because we've learned our mouth has a lot of filth on what we speak negative so we believe air from our nose is pure and all you're doing is just finding sound This is awesome. We'll definitely do more. <laughs> You'll hear more. But it also forces you to breathe deeply. Mm. You know, I, I love sharing this story. I shared this with two men that has um, asked for healing. And they walked with a hunch. And I said, properly, do it for a full month. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Take deep breaths. 
after a month realigned their structure from walking with a hunch they stood straight up by playing the nose flute and I I truly believe the air from the nose flute gave them an awareness to take deeper breaths because when you exhale your breath your chest or your lungs your chest stays open still so you'll practice yes yes <laughs> I will I will so this is Polynesian yes it actually stemmed from Kauai. Uh -huh. It started with two holes. And then the Tahitians came in and put more holes. So if you see two holes, it's Hawaiian. And it came from Kauai. And then we add more, like different people, you know. But I always think more is not always greater. Yeah. So. Yes. What is, if there is a message today that you want to share, or to children's, or to whoever's watching right now straight from Kauai to whoever's watching wherever they are what would that be uh, mahalo mahalo so um mahalo for being here on Kauai or on this earth Kauai has definitely have opened my chakras my life to understanding what is ancestral what is the art of Polynesia and how we share it is to really share it we don't sell things, you know. There is a side of energy to share, like Hawaii is doing. I have learned to reflect Kauai and be part of that, to share the way she shares the beauty, the smell, um, just what, how people can look at waterfalls and go, <sighs> <laughs> because I definitely have served that any kid, any body <laughs> that would want to know the art i would definitely share it the way Kauai does mm. so you're more than welcome to come visit yes oh, we're on the <laughs> i don't understand that much but we are definitely um it's holding. hard to miss phil really he says he's stepping around uh, you know Kauai, just beaming a big light beaming yeah. and a big smile so we definitely notice you straight away <laughs> oh, thank you so much because we this is what we do to share i know your job or your play yeah it is definitely beautiful because we some of the mission was to stretch it around the world and what you guys have done i think it's just so beautiful uh, thank you to Richard Mahalo. <laughs> thank you to Richard Diamond oh from the heart God. beat of Kauai for connecting us. Yes. yes, yes, most definitely. Truly. Well, Mahalo. Mahalo is gratitude. It's deep gratitude. Is that yes. what it means? Mahalo nui loa. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mahalo, my beautiful co creators. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Great.